Kate Middleton makes big decision amid recovery from abdominal surgery. Princess Kate hires the late Queen's former groom to be her right-hand man. Everything is changing in the royal family of the Prince and Princess of Wales. The Princess of Wales has appointed a former knight to Queen Elizabeth II as her private secretary. Welcome to Royal Realm. If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated about the British royal family. According to the Times, Prince William and Kate's family appointed presenter Tom Wyatt after the princess invited him to join her at a public engagement last year. Kate has been without a private secretary since the departure of Hannah Coburn Logie in October 2022. Lieutenant Colonel White served alongside the late Queen until her death on 8 September 2022. When he took up the position in 2020, he became the first Royal Marines commando to hold the position. He served in Afghanistan in 2009 and as a member of 42 Commando, helped avert tragedy in Helmand after the Taliban planted a bomb in a school. However, wires were spotted under the schoolroom door before the bombing. Lieutenant Colonel White took over the role of groom from Lieutenant Colonel Nana Kofi Tamazi Ankara. Meanwhile, it was confirmed earlier this month that William had appointed a former government diplomat as his private secretary. The role has been taken up by Ian Patrick, who also worked for former Liberal Democrat leader Lord Ashdown. The prince is currently juggling royal duties with family life as the princess continues her recovery from abdominal surgery. Kate, who underwent a 13-day hospital stay in January, is not expected to return to public duties until after Easter. After spending the February half-term break at their Norfolk home, Anne Mahal, William appeared solo at the Baftis last Sunday, telling executives his wife was sorry to miss out, adding, she loves the Baftis. The prince also called for an end to fighting in the war between Israel and Hamas, as quickly as possible, and for increased humanitarian support for Gaza, issuing a strong statement on Tuesday. This came as the prince visited the British Red Cross headquarters in London, where he told aid workers that he was deeply affected as a father by the whole situation. The government has been previously informed through the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO, of the prince's comments, the nature of the BRC visit and a future trip to a synagogue, where he will join a discussion with young people from across communities who advocate against hatred and anti-Semitism. William is likely to be among the royal family at a special Thanksgiving Mass in honour of King Constantine II, the last King of Greece at St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on Tuesday February 27th thanks for watching till the end